Hi guys, I'm Chris. And I'm Bex. We are the Nomadic Crowbot. Right guys, so this is our first ever narrowboat that we purchased a few months ago without realising that this shitstorm was going down in the back room. So we scraped it all out and we treated it and we came across what, Bex? Belly button! We came across our narrowboat's belly button. Now this bizarre little thing, I mean, belly buttons shouldn't exist on narrowboats, let alone humans really, should they? <laughs> I think this is like stumped just about everybody who's had a look at it. Nobody knows why it's there. One of our theories was that there was some sort of construction built into the, the hull of the boat, wasn't it? Yeah, the thing that makes it so strange is that it's so uniformly round. Generally, corrosion doesn't go that way, really. It almost looks like a beam's been sat in it or something. So our main priority became trying to get this little bad boy like filled up or plated or whatever you're meant to do. I don't know what you're meant to do. We've got a marine engineer coming up today to take a look at this. But until then... Here we are at Crowbot Towers. So today's plan is to sort out the hatches. A lot of the hatches on the boat don't shut properly. So I think we're going to try and skim off a little bit of sort of the wood or the rotten wood or whatever and just make them fit better. So let's have a look what tools we've got. That's the sort of thing we want. Everything has a purpose. Is that it? So first we need to find the source of the problem, see where the wood is bulging and getting in the way. I'll say that. <laughs> As you can see, that lock's missing the mark. Let's give it a crack. The bodging begins. Should we be filming that we're bodging it? Seems like miles away now. I like the way once it's filming, you want to do all the work. Well, no, I just saw this from This is the... a perfect example. What is it, the boat that, uh, what's the guy that does it, the boat that? The boat that James built. The boat that James built. The boat that Crowbot broke. <laughs> Crowbot. I don't think you can put this sort of stuff in the vlog really, can you? Look at that, perfect, done. Beautiful. This side bit here might be catching as well. Mad man at work. I wouldn't mind if it's so we could see progress, but there's there's no progress. Five minutes, she said. She wanted a hatch. I gave her five. Now she's not happy. <laughs> Sorted. This is what someone who has no clue what she's doing looks like. Oh dear. No, I think this is good. A poor hatch. And what you do now is you just carefully chisel in away at it. There I you was go. trying to do that's like it. a rough no, that's really perfect. Nice line, but... That is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's neat. It's a straight line. <laughs> Please let this be right. <laughs> right in it. Um. <laughs> Fear not for our hatch doors though guys, because come the summer we're actually going to replace them entirely, so this is just a little bit of bodgy work to get us through the winter. No, 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 not that high. <laughs> Do you not think we're taking the wrong bit off? So we've decided to knock that on the head. What's the plan now, Bex? Wood glue, wood more locks and we're going to extend the locks out from the doors to sort of make up for how warped the wood is so that we can sort of pull them a bit more flush. But as you can see the top one here people have already been extending to the size of it just because it's so warped it's probably easier just to make that a bit bigger so that it sits in up here. Temporary solution. Yeah opposed to actually doing what we've done and hacked away at it. I mean that's I think it, ha it has helped. It has helped that a little bit. So off to B&Q to sort out our huge fuck up. So 
B&Q did not come up with the goods for us today, or it did, but at slightly higher prices. So we're off to Screwfix. We love these guys at Screwfix. They've sorted us out on countless occasions. So accommodating. <laughs> Now the aesthetics, to keep it aesthetically correct, we're going to probably take away the lock off the other one I've suggested and put it on this one. You little fibber, I said that! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, one of the other locks has got one of the older types, because they're always slightly different, and these ones here that are currently on the boat could, could have been on for 10, 20 years. So um, yeah, we're going to take them off, keep them paired up, keep them together. Here's one Bex has just taken off without waiting. Bex's bodges. When you don't have a workstation, clamp it to whatever surface you can find. When <laughs> Chris can just look at me disapprovingly. Oh, that was nearly my foot. So time to get back to the belly button guys and today we have a special marine engineer coming to check it out we love this chap and fear not guys this is not the maverick as much as we love the maverick this here is a real proper certified marine engineer and we love him don't we bex oh yeah he's ace we love him and he has given us so much good advice over the past and not only that stopped us from essentially buying what would have been like a sinking ship so bring him on why didn't we bring him in to like get a survey on this boat Bex on this sinking ship because we're very silly so much like slapping a plaster over a wound we know that this isn't necessarily best practice and that in fact we should really be addressing this from the underside of the hull as our man explained to us, but this is a temporary solution to stop us from having nightmares for the moment until we get the boat out of the water a bit further down the line and have this area looked at from the underside of the hull. I don't know about you, but a Becca Bodge, well done. Why, thank you. What happened here, Bex? I'm telling you, man, it did help. Huh? It did help. The door was, a, was about double the width away from closing before we chiselled off a bit. All ready for our cunning locking system that we're going to fit in the next few days. High five for Team Crowbot! Okay. Go on. You can go use it. In you go. In you go. Bloody beautiful, bloody beautiful. Sorted and on to our next boaty disaster. Do you want to take him for a walk and no hoover? Oh no, it honestly does this all the time. Hiya. What is it that does it? Does he think it's attacking you or something? Yeah, I, I've, I know a lot of dogs that do this with hoovers. Calm down. Calm down. Is that enough now? What's that I hear you say? You want some more boaty disasters? So Bex ripped out the whole bathroom to look beneath it to see if we had the same problem and we found this. Yeah, that's a problem. That is going to be a problem. 